Today, I am going to review uh, the XLR cables that I use in my system. This is my uh, uh, Audio Quest Diamondbacks XLR cables. These are hundred dollars plus when I bought it. You know, now they're on special. Probably you can get it for seventy, eighty, ninety dollars somewhere around there. And so I use uh, my uh, sauce components and I use this the shortest one between uh, my preamp and amplifier that I use. Natural sounding, very good bass, mid range is awesome, and highs are well extended. And this one. This is the one I made it myself, based on Canary uh, Star Quad uh, cables. So this is the longer one that I made using uh, Nutrik uh, XLR cable, uh, XLR connectors. And then I solder it myself using a silver solder. These sound very good because these kind of cables that every musician or professional studios when they record all the music that we enjoy so this is the one this one that goes between this is the long one this one that goes between a uh, source and a preamp the short one so this goes between preamp and amplifier no coloration no less no more all is neutral natural as you can get and here's a, another one and all the sheep you know protective sheet and everything and very flexible I'm using Mogami cables which is also one of the uh, industry professional industry stand-up cables that they use in all the professional environment you know these are also very natural sounding cables no coloration no more no less in any frequency range and the bass response is really good. That's how, how I should say it. The connectors, the cable, and the you know protected nylon sheath cost me for less than fifty dollars. You know I soldered myself at home using the top notch silver solder. These are the Mogami base uh, my do it DIY cables. Sound phenomenal. It's this one also less than forty dollars. I also have a leftover cables and all the nylon sheet. This is Rockville. These are the cheapest cable that I have. Eight dollars for a pair of the cable. I just want to try them out. You know, it's sixteen dollars for the uh, eight cables. The thing is, you know, high frequencies. It's uh, a little shallow compared to. Um, you know, are these three and bass response is much less. The bass is not that great or not good. Like everyone said, you get what you pay for. So for time being, my favorite cable is this one. This is the one. So if you can do it yourself, these are well worth your time and your money. Because these are almost equal to these audio quest diamondbacks cable they only lack like a little bit less air between instruments that's about it rest of this frequency spectrum is great it's phenomenal for the price i paid less than fifty dollars i can still make two more cables if i wanted to because I still have raw cables left over. So these are the uh, my favorite at this moment. And uh, based on the Mogami's. But saying that, I am not going to get rid of these Diamondbacks. These are my favorites until these guys came along. But if I listen to them carefully, Diamondbacks are like a notch or two better. So what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna do a sound demo, sound demo 
I hope you can hear the difference like I did in my system. Listen it through my headphones and I was able to differentiate in sound based on these th four cables. My point is like million dollar studio use these cables so you can go around with these. Share your thoughts and opinions. Thank you for watching.